So you can start to make a reflective uh, video just by putting lots of different video files and images together. But you almost certainly will have far more footage than you actually want to show. You're more likely to want to be selective um, and select perhaps moments from the video footage that you've got. So I'm going to show you how to use the video tools. So to go to the video tools, you'll see there's a tab up here called video tools. Click on that and then that will give you uh, a number of, of tools which we'll go through. The first one I'll tell you about is the trim tool. Now the trim tool lets you basically top and tail a video, so just chop off the start and the end. So if we select that, over in your preview window here, you'll see you've now got um, a, a line with a couple of bars that you can move. So to set to, to trim off the first part of the video that you don't want, you would move that bar. And then to trim off the end, you would move that bar. And you can see the centre part, which is blue, is the video which will actually be left. Um, it's also worth saying at this point that Movie Maker doesn't actually delete the video itself. Um, so anything that you do, you can undo and Movie Maker can go back to the original video so that you can start again. So you can see that this is basically going to take off the beginning and the end and you can press play to see what it's going to look like. And then if you're happy with it, you would, you would save the trim. So I'm just going to cancel that for now. Personally, I find the split tool more useful. Um, the split tool, if we go back up to the top, lets you actually split the video into separate segments. And I find this much easier to work with. So for example, if I click on play to watch my video, the first part of it was quite shaky. So I'm just going to, and I think I'd started speaking there, so we're just going to move it back a little bit. And what I would do then is I would click split, and you can see it then turns it into separate videos. And that means that I can select this first video here just by clicking on it. So if we play again, that was the shaky bit. And then I can simply delete it with my delete key. So um, whilst that does the same as the trim tool, it just takes a bit off the beginning. I might also actually want to do something in the middle. So for example, there might be something in the middle that I want to, to take out of the video, um, which is perhaps the most useful part. So again, I would just play until I find the part that I want, click split um, at the start of the section that I actually want to keep, play again until I get to the end of the section, and then click split again. And then you can see this is the part that I actually want to keep. So then I could delete the sections either side, like so. And I would just have that small section left 